All right, Shalom Makim Shalom. Tawa Babakor, would you say good morning to you? Before I start, though, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, the barns to the elder apostles of the Great Millstone. All right, welcome back to another GMS Inspiration of the Almighty. And as you can see, this title, Hope. All we have is this hope. All we have is this hope. And uh, as soon as I woke up this day, I was thinking about hope. Because collectively as a nation, we've just been going through it. And um, nobody has cared with the Negro Latino and Native American, which make up the true Israelites, what it is that we suffer as being uh, the people of the Heavenly Father, as being minorities. Nobody gives a freak about what we go through and what we currently, what we've been through and what we're currently going through. So all we have is the Heavenly Father and His beloved Son in the hope that they would justify us, recompense us, vindicate us, just help us in general. Because we in the lowest state that the nation of Israel have ever experienced. And it seemed like it's, um, it never would stop. But that's why we have this hope. Hope in Yahweh, hope in Yahweh Shai, hope in the God of the Bible, hope in his prophecies, hope that he would deliver us very soon. That's all we have. Matter of fact, if I may start you off with this clip, um, through the spirit of power, Yahweh Shemal Shai put this video together years back. It's it's entitled "The Just Shall Live by Faith," faith based. And I want to play you a, a part of the clip that um, has always been stuck in my head since I've seen it. So, um, you know, there's nothing more to be said. I mean, we're still going to be here teaching the scriptures. Uh, breaking down these uh, these prophecies, bringing out the judgments of the Most High, watching, praying, because all we have is hope, and all we have is faith. That's all we have, faith in the Most High, and hope that He comes back and delivers us very soon. So, as you see in that clip, very powerful clip about uh, from the elder apostle Tahar. And um, as he is stating, all we have is hope, brothers. You know, this society, this world, this separate claim, white man, all the other nations. Nobody hasn't cared to, to help us in any fashion. But collectively, they have came together to keep us in this lowest state. And it, and it hurts being uh, being this very low. You can't help yourself. You can't help your people. You can't help your family. And all you see is the generations come and go. It's just waxing worse. You know? And we suffer it as a people. But when you look up the word hope in the etymology, when you go into the verb form, it says... Have the theological virtue of hope, hope for salvation, mercy, trust in God's word. So literally, when we look at the word of the Heavenly Father, that's where we find light at. That's where we find relief. It's only in the word of the Lord that he would deliver us, save us out of the land of our enemies, recompense our enemies, Put us up in a, a, a right a state again to where we able to um, hold the statute laws and commandments, you know, and reign and reign in righteousness. That's 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 it. We know on this side, man, it's just nothing but black culture, Latino culture, um, a lot of greed, anger, low self-esteem. It's just terrible, brothers, and, and it's it's very painful to watch 
and to be a part of is very painful. So we hope in God's word, it says to have trust, have confidence, assume confidently or trust that someone is or will be so. So we trust the Yahweh Shemar Shai to please, please deliver us from this lower state. Please recompense us from um, our enemies just striking us down continually. And we having no power to, to really fight back on this side when just a, a Israelite man stand up for itself. It's, um, it's labeled as hate. When an Israelite man bring up what has happened to him in the past and how that's the reason why he can't move forward. He's labeled as lazy. Oh, you're just lazy. Oh, you're just another angry black man, another angry Latino man. Just to stand up for yourself in this society um, has a negative. You, you receive a negative attack from the world. So we truly trust and have confidence that the Heavenly Father will deliver us, man, to save us from this. And that's all we have is this hope. Okay. Um, when you jump to the book of. When you jump to the book of uh, Zechariah, the first chapter, and you start at the third verse, it says, Therefore say unto them, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Turn ye unto me, saith the Lord of hosts, and I will turn unto you, saith the Lord of hosts. So, if we turn to the Heavenly Father, that's where we receive our uh, our peace at. It's, it's in the Lord. You know, Jake out here is searching for peace. They're searching for comfort. You know, and a lot of Jake's has become successful. They've become millionaires and um, very famous in this, on this side. But they still empty in, in, in the inside. They still searching for peace. You got a lot of Jake's that tell you they still trying to find themselves after they've became famous and received millions of dollars. The reason why is because they don't have the Heavenly Father. You know? So if we turn to the Heavenly Father, that's where our peace is at. That's where our joy is at. That's where our comfort is at. And the Lord will turn to us. It says, be not as your fathers unto whom the former prophets have cried, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Turn ye now from your evil ways and from your evil doings, but they did not hear, nor hearken unto me, saith the Lord. So then now we, we understand very well why our enemies is triumphing over us. It's because we acting like our forefathers, the wicked of them. Well, at least, well, at least uh, the ones right now that don't have the Heavenly Father, the ones that don't have the calling, you know, the ones that's not a part of the elect. Every time I go outside, I'm telling you, man, it's just a, it's a painful sight to see. Whether it be as soon as I turn out of my neighborhood, there's like a, a skid roll of, of, of tents and our people just roaming through the streets, bummy, um, you drive down certain streets, you got our women uh, selling their uh, prostituting. Um, Jake walking down the street going drugs, just talking to whatever demon is that's there. Nobody can't see the demon. He looked like he talking to himself. Um, you know, the music videos, smash and grabs. You see Jake just losing a mind. You hear about What's going on within your immediate family, your families, and everybody's fighting with each other. It just, like I said, um, be not like our fathers. It says, your fathers, where are they? And the prophets, do they live forever? But my words and my statutes, which I command my servants, the prophets, did they, did they not take hold on your fathers? And they returned and said, like as the Lord of hosts thought to do unto us, according to our ways and according to our doings, so have he dealt with us. So the curse of the Heavenly Father is truly on us. 
All we have is the hope of the Lord that to take it off of us. He's the one that casts a spell on us. Well, he's the one that could cast a spell off of us. And that's where that's why we were turning back to the heavenly father, because this is the only way. This is the only way Esau, Edom and all the nations. They do. They want us here. They want us to be niggas, pimps, hoes. They want us here, man. So our hope is only in the Lord. Daniel's 9 and 11 says, Yea, all Israel have transgressed the law, thy law, even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore the curse is poured upon us, and the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of the Heavenly Father, because we have sinned against him. So Jake, we in this predicament because we sinned. You know, it's, it's very, it's very like, when we say that we we sin, that's why we hear. Jake wants something more extravagant to hear. They want to hear like, we hear because uh, we we was acting weak or, or it's like I, I can't really think of how I'm trying to think of it. It's like Jake always want to hear some ec some extra phenomenal reasoning on why we hear. They always want to hear like something that's out of this world to under uh, on, on why we here it's very simple that's what i'm just trying to simply say it's very simple why we here it's not something super extra phenomenal extracurricular super deep it's it's simply because we sinned the heavenly father placed us here and that's why I thank the Heavenly Father for the remnant, the elect, the ones who are returning to the Heavenly Father, because they understand what is the what is the, the problem with us? What's the problem with this nation? And they're they're trying hard with their lives, putting their lives on the line to please the Lord by not sinning no more. Verse 12 says, and he have confirmed his words which he spake against us and against our judges that judged us by bringing upon us a great evil for under the whole heaven have not been done as have been done upon Jerusalem. So the word of the heavenly father has took in place on us. The great evil, the great curse. And as it stated for under the whole heaven have not been done as has been done upon Jerusalem. That's why um, we in this lowest estate where our woman basically for money is now selling out their souls, flashing their bodies, talking about a lot of sexual things. The men has become um, homosexual uh, uh Practicers, uh, the families are broken. We're killing each other over gang banging. We're we're full of obesity because of gluttony demons. We just have demons on us. We hooked on drugs. We live in uh, uh, the corners of the cities, the ghettos. We full of roaches, rats, and ants. Um. You know, we just collectively as a people, people, the the world know that we at the bottom of the totem pole. You know, so our hope is truly that how the hell do we get the fuck out of this situation? How do we how does this stop? Why do my why do my family got to be stuck on crack? Why, why, why my people got to be in jail? My uncles and my my aunties is and my dad and is in jail well we got to return to Yabashim I was shy man and the Lord is allowing it through his elect verse 14 says therefore have the Lord watched upon therefore has the Lord watched upon the evil and brought it upon us for the Lord our power is righteous and all his works which he doeth, for we have obeyed, we have not, we have obeyed not his voice. So 
This ain't a thing of blaming the Heavenly Father because of um, what we have what we have done. We sinned. The Lord didn't tell us to sin. He, he told us to do righteousness, but because of our, our, our pride, because of our uh, stupidity, foolishness, um, we went against our God and now we're suffering the consequences of it. Which when you understand the scriptures, you know there's no free will anyway. It's all a part of the Heavenly Father's uh, plan or his movie. And truly... This lower state is teaching us something. And what is that something? That something is when you don't have the Heavenly Father, this is the results. So we're learning a, a valuable lesson by being so very low. So that when the Heavenly Father actually bring us high, we will remember this lower state. <laughs> and nobody want to be down here. All right. Jeremiah 49 and 12 says, For thus saith the Lord, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken. And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink it. So this verse says, They whose judgment was not to drink of the cup, that they was us Israelites, you Negro Latino Native Americans, we wasn't supposed to drink of the cup. What is the cup? Cup of judgment, slavery, the wrath of the Lord. We drunk it. We wasn't supposed to drink it because we were supposed to be doing that which is right. But we sinned. And it says, Art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? And that was in reference to the ones that's destroying us, which is the Edomites, the self proclaimed white people. Shall he go unpunished for all the wickedness he have done? Here it is, us Israelites, we messed up and the Lord punished us. How much more an Edomite when he didn't, he didn't messed up. He's the reason why we so low. He's the one, he's the culprit of why we're low. He funds millions and trillions of dollars to keep us low. So he's not going to go unpunished. He's going to surely drink of the wrath, the cup, which is the wrath, slavery and the, and, and the punishment of the Lord. You know, and very soon the Heavenly Father is going to recompense us and, and um, pay back our enemies for what it is he have done. And in the process, the benefit for us is that we learned, we've learned what it means to be low and how it feels. And we, we don't ever want to return back to his lowest state ever. Baruch 4 and 27 says, Be of good comfort, my children, and cry unto the Lord. For ye, for ye shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. So that's that's what that's our hope, Lord. Uh, our hope, our hope, brothers and sisters, that what we're doing, believing in Abba Shem El Shai, um, showing brotherly love again, um, doing these lessons reading the scriptures, praying, getting your house in order. This this is how it's going to work to get us out of here, to, for the Lord to remember remember how low we are, you know, and bring this pain off of us. It's very painful. It's painful, you know what I mean? It's as far as it is your mind to go astray from the Heavenly Father, so be in return, seek him ten times more. So now it's time to, Truly buckle down and focus on what it is the Lord has for what it is the Lord wants us to do, seeking Him ten times more. This is the this is the, your opportunity. This is your time to stand up. You know, to show the Lord that you want it, and that you truly understand um, that you messed up and you acknowledge your sin, and now you want to do that which is right before Him. This is the time to show. You know, our enemies want us to vote for his presidents, his his um, government offices. He wants us to vote who, who should be in there and do all this stuff for his society. Now it's time to stand up for our nation.
It says, um, for he that had brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy with your salvation. Take a good heart, O Jerusalem, for he that for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. So it's only in a Lord where this comfort is gonna lie at this 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 peace where you wake up and you ain't worried about after the work or uh somebody's oppressing you and getting ready to kick you out your house because your ends ain't meeting and cutting off your lights. You got a brand new uh newborn in your house. They still cutting your lights off, you know. Uh, no gas. You can't pay your gas bill. They're cutting your gas bill off. It's in the middle of the winter. and You you got to heat up your water on the stove. I don't know what, what it is you personally deal with, but I do know these curses on us all. And we have, man, you know, Jay could tell you some stories about how, what they had to endure growing up. You know, it says, take good heart, O Jerusalem, for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. Miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoice at thy fall. Miserable are thy cities which thy children serve. Miserable is she that received thy sons. For as she had rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad at thy fall, so shall she be grieved for her own desolation. For I will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude, and her pride shall be turned into mourning. The fire shall come upon her from the everlasting loan to endure, and she should be inhabited for devils for a great time. So now our enemies are finna be destroyed. The Lord just said it. It says, O Jerusalem, look about thee towards the east, and behold the joy that cometh unto thee from the heavenly Father. Because one day we're going to wake up, and, and we're going to see Yahweh Shai coming from the east with the chariots and the thousands of the heavens, the thousands of angels, and they're going to be delivering us, Lord willing. It says, Lo, thy sons come, whom thou sentest away. They come gathered together from the west, I mean from the east to the west, by the word of the Lord, Holy One, rejoicing in the glory of the Lord. So, truly, brothers and sisters out there, our hope is all that we have. It's only the hope in Yahweh Shem Shai that we'll get out of this predicament. Nothing more else that we have but this hope. That's it. I'll leave you back off with with uh, this clip. So, um, you know, there's nothing more to be said. I mean, we're still going to be here teaching the scriptures, uh, breaking down these uh, these prophecies. Bringing out the judgments of the Most High, watching, praying, because all we have is hope, and all we have is faith. That's all we have, faith in the Most High, and hope that he comes back and delivers us very soon. Brakta Yahweh, Brakta Yahweh, Brakta Yahweh, and Brakta Yahweh. Shalom, hope you brothers and sisters edified, and I pray that we keep hoping on to the end. Shalom.